Good morning. Welcome to Arbor Digital Update from the Forest. I'm Tad Reeves, your host, Principal Architect at Arbor Digital. Today I'm going to talk about something that I did not have on my 2024 bingo card at all, which is, after all, is there going to be an AEM 6.6? Uh, so you can tell from the foliage here, I'm in a forest ride in the fall. Fall has two things that happen to it every year. One of those things is the leaves start to change color, as you can see. The other thing that happens every year is ADAPT2, which is in Berlin. It's been happening the last 13 years, and it is the, I would say, one of the two most important conferences to go to every single year if you are an AEM professional. ADAPT2 typically offers a deep dive on technical subjects. And a lot of the time, Adobe uses it as an outlet for giving a technical preview for a product that they're gonna launch at Adobe Summit. So notable example of this was in 2019 when Adobe uh, launched. So in March, 2020 at, uh, at uh, Adobe Summit, they announced the same as a cloud service. October of 2019 at Adapt2, was a super deep dive on how uh, all the guts of AIM as a cloud service, how it works, and remains to this day probably the best um, deep uh, explanation for lay people who are not Adobe employees uh, on, on the guts of how uh, AIM as a cloud service functions. At the time, of course, it wasn't released, and so everybody's going, wow, why is, why is Adobe spending so much work to tell us how to run AEM inside of a container. Little did we know that there was a product that was about to be launched. But uh, there's another thing around the corner this year. So the uh, obviously Adobe's product roadmap is not announced, but what is announced is uh, uh, what uh, the schedule is for this year's Adapt to. And one of those things is running AEM on JDK 17. So here's the deal, is that there are, so Adobe Experience Manager is built around a whole, I mean, obviously a bunch of Adobe code, but also a whole bunch of uh, third-party open source projects. So some of those projects have upstream, uh, some of those upstream projects have security vulnerabilities that can only really be patched if you are running JDK 17 or better. Now, right now as a, as a um, refresher, uh, AM 6.5 only runs on either JDK 8 or JDK 11. So these are old uh, patched, but old uh, Java development kits. And also your um, AM Cloud Service code also runs on uh, JDK 11 only. So uh, the only way to really deal with this is to upgrade the whole stack. Upgrading the whole stack is gonna create some other things too, which they're gonna explain at this adapt to talk in terms of they're gonna to have to deprecate um, some features, potentially some APIs. There's gonna be some changes. So as a result of this, there's gonna be a project that is on all of our radars. If you're a, a Adobe site owner or an implementation professional, to be able to uh, get upgraded to this new version. Now, obviously, some people are gonna be able to immediately upgrade, some people are not. And there's still gonna have to be service packs for the people who do not. So what are they gonna do? Have a single service pack that serves both JDKs, both feature sets? Probably not. Which probably means that this is gonna be an AEM 6.6. I mean, if you look at the difference in feature set between AEM 6.0.0 when it was released in March 2019 and now we're 23 feature uh, service packs into this. It's been so many features that have been added. It's been a ton. So it only stands to reason that Adobe would probably re-up on a new version and then keep, uh, keep service packs going for a little while longer but then have an EOL date 
on uh, AM6.5. So, this is a big deal. This is something that you're probably gonna, you weren't necessarily previously figuring into your uh, 2025 technology budget, but this is something that you're gonna need to look at. Also, too, is this the time that it makes sense to put some of your stack on AM Cloud Service, uh, go edge delivery, or if it still totally makes sense to keep your stuff on 6.x self-hosted, uh, then there's gonna be an upgrade project. So that's one item that, uh, and so one other thing about Adapt2 is that this year, I mean, for a couple of years during COVID, they had remote uh, conferences. This one's gonna be in person only. So uh, it's time to either fly up to Berlin or it's time to uh, just keep your ear to the rail and, and schedule some time after the conference to catch up on videos. Uh, I'm gonna try to make it myself. So we'll see, we'll see how that all goes. But there's a bunch of other things too that are gonna be um, announced and talked about at Adapt2, which I'm pretty pumped about. One of those is uh, some folks from Adobe are gonna be talking about their tooling and process for adobe.com. There are some um, early access technologies that I've actually been working with, with uh, Adobe engineers. May, they may or may not talk about those, but uh, uh, adobe.com is the largest AEM site in terms of traffic. So learning from them on what they do uh, is only gonna help your own projects. Other things are things like, there's some new tooling for developing on AM as a cloud service um, in terms of improving developer experience. They're gonna go over those tools. There is um, some, uh, probably the first in-depth talk on real life use of uh, Project Polaris, which is the um, Adobe Dynamic Media APIs that allow you to basically run a completely decoupled experience where you've got where you've got, uh, sorry, it's the jumpy part, um, where you've got uh, your AM assets, serving assets for everything in your org, even completely non-AM uh, experiences as well, because you can use these open APIs to do things like image transformation, a bunch of Firefly-based transformations, you know, swapping in backgrounds and all kinds of things like that. So uh, there's a couple other, amazing things I had prepared for myself before I started the ride, but this is the, uh, this is what happens when you do a presentation whilst going mountain biking in the morning. But in any case, this year's Adaptive is gonna be exciting. Uh, there's a lot of tech that's on the horizon, which uh, I'm excited to put it to use. And uh, if I go, I hope to see you there. Otherwise, we'll all be catching up. You guys have a great day.